SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I gotta give you this Verizon update so you guys are in the know, uh, so you can understand what's really happening with the network. Pretty important. We caught wind of this a few live streams ago. Uh, big shout out to the SMT Nation for the live chat engagement. And members in the live chat were telling us that people were reporting that DSS technology from Verizon, Dynamic Spectrum Sharing, in which the spectrum or the uh, radio frequency licenses between 4G and 5G, they've been shared using this technology for the last couple of years as Verizon has been trying to cover pops of 5G just for the sake of an icon on people's phones, really. Uh, but they're starting to turn that off and dedicate all that used to be shared spectrum to just LT to try to offload some of the LT congestion. Anyways, there's more details on this. I want to share them with you here in today's video. Uh, some anecdotals from folks across the country. Uh, I will be sure to post this link so you guys can take a look at how the technology works. And um, I want to show you some pictures from Twitter or X where people have been sharing speed tests with me on what's going on with the Verizon network. All right, so all of that will be in the description and ways to support us can be found there as well. All right, so dynamic spectrum sharing is not really something important to the performance of a network. It always has been and always will be just some fake icon reach that Verizon, AT&T have been using because they haven't had dedicated 5G spectrum. All right, they didn't get a 5G stimulus package like T-Mobile did in which they were able to consume an entire carrier. So because of that, they had to resort to this awful technology use case in which in some instances it caused the network to regress. All right, so looking kind of how things work, I put this image for you, you guys can take a look at that. But really where things kind of come to a T, shared to me from a uh, Twitter uh, X user, Gaines Pro, shout out to him, uh, uses all the networks from what I could tell. Uh, this is a speed test from his Verizon line, 10 down, one up, and all types of loaded latency issues. All right, so basically congested, very uh, hardly usable, I would say. Anyways, he's going through it, right? He's trying to make good of this network usage, but he can't. And the reason for that is the DSS technologies were never good. Uh, even when on LTE, he's seeing congestion. So this brings to the point of what Verizon is doing in upgrading their network, the 5G ultra wideband is paramount to them truly improving their network in every market where they have high market share, in every market where they have outdated cell sites, it doesn't matter if they use DSS, it doesn't matter if it's on 5G or LT, it does not matter. Verizon is going to have to upgrade the network on every single cell site they have in order for their 5G network to actually be bulletproof in which they can monetize it on the mobile side as well as the home broadband side. There's no other way. So don't be tricked by this little icon up here that says LT. Just because DSS was turned off in your market does not mean it's going to fix the issues. They might be trying to, you know, offer some sort of small remedy to some possible loss in spectral efficiency because of DSS. But even with DSS off, LT is still having problems on sites like this, shared by Gaines Pro. So disabling DSS or enabling DSS, whatever the case may be, it does not matter. The bottom line is every small cell, every macro cell, every rooftop site from Verizon is going to have to be upgraded. They've done a nice job up to this point. 230 million pops of 5G UW, but they will absolutely need more. There's no other way around it. They're going to have to upgrade all their sites. They're going to have to increase backhaul at all these sites, the fiber optic circuits that go to the cell towers. They're just going to have to do more, and it's going to take the rest of this year, I believe, to, to accurately portray the network as they believe it should perform all right there's no other way around it they're just gonna have to do it all right so there's no magical serum there's no you know uh i don't know what you would call it, like silver bullet they're just gonna have to upgrade all their sites and we'll continue to report as they expand the network which they have for the last two years it's gotten bigger it's gotten more modern they've upgraded cell sites they're just going to have to do more and we're going to look forward to that moving forward in through the rest of this year let me know what they're doing in your market. Are they using DSS? Are they strictly LTE for Spectrum? Are you seeing the 5G Ultra Wideband you know, upgrades hitting the ground running in your market? Talk to me about this. What are you seeing? 
What are your experiences? Love to hear what you have to say on this. You all the voice of the people. The SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.